Since the beginning of this year, more than 10 people, including soldiers, have lost their lives and over 500 heads of cattle stolen in Nakapiripiriti district. According to Nakapiripiriti district leaders, insecurity is caused by the Pokot pastoralists from Amodat and West Pokot in Kenya. Nakapiripirit Resident District Commissioner John Michael Okurut narrates the current security in the district. The security team is doing everything it can uh, to contain the situation. The challenge we've got is the influx of, uh, of criminals from the Kenya border, uh, from, the, from Western Pokot, uh, who ally with the, the Pokots of Uganda to come and destabilize Nakapiripirit. Uh, But by and large, uh, it is not only to say that uh, it's the purports uh, only that uh, cause insecurity. Even the local residents of Nakapiripirit. It is against this background that the Minister for the Presidency, Mili Babidi Babalanda, called upon religious leaders in Karamoja sub-region to speak to the youth to end insecurity as it has kept the region underdeveloped. Talk to our sons to stop that habit of exchanging guns because these people of Karamoja do have guns which has cost us a great deal. Our people have lost life. Babalanda urged leaders to encourage locals to embrace government programs like EMIOGA, PDM, among others. People stick on the government programs which are aiming at improving their life, livelihoods. And with the government programs, I can assure you, our people of this region will get out of poverty. Minister Babalanda was meeting Seventh-day Adventist leaders and Christians from the districts of Nakapiripirit, Nabilatuk, and Amadat. The function was held at Nakapiripirit Seventh-day Adventist Church in Nakapiripirit, a town council. Meanwhile, Christians at Nakapiripirit Seventh-day Adventist Church decried water scarcity School infrastructure at Seventh-day Adventist Nursery and Primary School, as the head teacher Slivia Musasizi clarifies. We are disturbed by insecurity and recently when people died from our school compound, which was a challenge to, to the program of learning because everything was disorganized. We don't have bower hall. They lack They lack basic needs. You find even they don't have books, they don't have pencils. Minister Babalanda contributed 5 million shillings and the state minister for disaster, also woman member of parliament, contributed 1 million shillings towards the completion of the school structures. Over 100 million Ugandan shillings is needed to complete the school. Brian Tumwinebiaruhanga Morinega UBC News